Hi, I'm Dr. Rudy Cashman, neurosurgeon, 44 years, but uh, I'm this time uh, I'm a, a wellness director, and, uh, and that's my gig. You can call me Dr. Wellness, like the mayor did the other day. So uh, uh, that's really uh, my passion. Uh, reason being, really, maybe 35 years ago, or so I really noticed that uh, most of the patients I was seeing instead of uh, injections or surgery, uh, frankly need some education on getting well, which could be from exercise to what they were eating and, and stress control and things of this nature. So it's become a, sort of a passion with me. I've written man, many books, got on YouTube, many TV shows available there, 77 I think on YouTube, uh, all about uh, uh, wellness. Uh, today's show is about the Daniel Plan. I really, really like it. Uh, and let me give you a little background to it. First, about uh, uh, the reason I, I, I'm doing this, Dr. David Katz wrote a, a book uh, called Disease Proof, and I met him at the National Wellness Conference recently in Minnesota, and he really confirms what I've been teaching uh, all along, that 80% of our chronic illnesses, heart disease, uh, diabetes, 80% of vascular disease, 93% of type 2 uh, uh, diabetes uh, can be avoided 80% of the time if you watch how you use your fingers, in other words, whether you're smoking uh, marijuana or cigarettes or, or, or drinking too much or whatever, uh, forks, so it's your fingers, forks, what you're eating, uh, and how you use your feet, uh, exercise. Those three, if you watch what, careful with what they do, three things you can avoid 80% of the chronic illnesses uh, that exist in America today. I mean, this is fantastic good news. I've known it uh, all along. Like I said, 30, 40 years ago, I started thinking this way. Uh, and uh, so I became a wellness teacher. I'm a doctor. Physician means uh, teacher. And, but it's not necessarily that easy to do. For, for many of us, uh, we don't have enough information uh, to, to change. We don't even know uh, uh, the information uh, that what we're doing is so destructive uh, to our health. Uh, in our area, you know, three days, about a week or two ago, the mayor started uh, a, a program in the city for the city to lose, uh, I think, 500,000 pounds in two years. Uh, because we're one of the most obese uh, uh, cities in the, in the country. But I tell you, it's a problem all over. And this is a no judgment zone. We're making no judgment there. I'm here because of health problems. Uh, believe me, uh, type of food, eating things, uh, every, everybody's had the, those problems, including myself. I'm here out of love for you. Uh, and what I found is, is that many of us, is, it takes more than just the information that I'm giving you to change our habits. It takes more than that. Uh, uh, number one really is how you think. Uh, in the Daniel plan, uh, it uh, takes spirituality and religion to create a culture of wellness. It's a wonderful idea. It's worked for many of us. That's necessary. So let's go over this a little bit. But, but he uh, really takes faith, okay, food, five Fs, fitness, focus, and friendships. And the juice really being faith uh, and friendships to get us to change. If you have a friend or a family or a group that helps you try to change uh, in, in your health habits, remember it doesn't take a lot, uh, it's actually fairly simple. Uh, uh, that we could become uh, healthy uh, to avoid these horrible diseases. I could probably, if you follow this, maybe add 20 years to your life, avoid unexpected heart attacks, strokes. 60% of cancer is based on being overweight. Yeah, that's a factor that's not put out by a lot of people. It's true. Dr. Katz proved it scientifically in his book. I've been saying it for years to begin with, but there, there is the, uh, uh, is the, is the uh, uh, proof. Uh, the book of the Daniel Plan, uh, w I encourage you to read it, uh, was uh, written by Mark Hyman and Dr. Daniel Amen, uh, along with uh, Rick Warren, who wrote The Purpose for Life, a book years ago that made the New York Times bestseller list. I think it was a great book. Because he was uh, doing his instinct. He was sending people all over the world to feed the world, uh, but then he f 
was baptizing one time 827 people. It's right in his book. And he put them all under the water. That's how he does it, uh, including himself. And then he looked at everybody with their clothes wet and everything like that. And, and, and the opening line of his book, I'm not saying this, the opening line of his book is, he was shocked. We're all fat. Exactly what he said. But typical Rick Warren, he did something about it. First, he confessed himself that he gained three pounds a year for 30 years, and he was 90 pounds overweight. That's right in his book. He admitted it. And, uh, uh, and, and having the accompanying uh, illnesses that go with it, usually pre-diabetes or diabetes. I don't know the extent of that, but I, re I would sure wonder if he doesn't have uh, pre-diabetes. He did something about it. Uh, and, and what he found is dividing people into groups of five or ten, and they would meet periodically, uh, that, that was more effective. Remember what I said about faith and friends. So religion uh, leads the way. And, and the, uh, uh, what I'm speaking about the Daniel, if I encourage you to read the book, uh, you can get it at any bookstore uh, on his website. There's, he has an excellent website, Daniel Plan, look at it. There's tremendous free education available on there just by clicking a uh, computer, but tremendous amount of education available right on the website. Uh, uh, read the book. The other thing I'm go going to, and you also have a CD-ROM you can play in your car. I'm playing it right now. It's about eight CDs. Uh, I'm not sure that's totally a, a, a thing, but it, it's a guy reads the book. And, and it, while you're driving, I'm listening to it. It's very good. It's very good. I gave it to a church for free recently where I gave a talk on the Daniel Plan because I'm in the churches with it, to uh, be honest with you. And, and then he, uh, they put out a cookbook the Daniel Pan cookbook, and I have nothing to do with them. I don't make money from advertising their stuff, but I tell you, it's excellent the way you uh, need to eat, um, and I highly recommend that you learn to cook. Only one-third of Americans know how to cook, and Dr. Hyman, matter of fact, in this blood sugar solution book he wrote, uh, puts in there, his family does not start dinner till he is home. Isn't that wonderful? As a neurosurgeon, that might have been <laughs> 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, but it's a great habit. Yeah, they don't start dinner. The whole family gets involved with it. All the kids learn to cook. Uh, and Dr. Hyman has learned to cook. He can fix a four, he, uh, it's right in his book. He can uh, cook a four piece chicken dinner in 12 minutes uh, with broccoli and different things uh, with it, including dessert, uh, for f about 15 bucks. Yeah, yeah, it's right in his book. I checked it. I went to Whole Foods, checked it out. The, the pricing is correct. Actually, David Katz, the book I made earlier, recently studied bad food and good food, fine, it's a wash. If you know what you're doing, if you know what you're shopping for, the cost is a wash. So that uh, good food is more expensive bologna. You just gotta know when to buy it in season and in groups and put it in the, in the freezer. Uh, so that, 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 that's uh, thrown, thrown uh, out. So I encourage you, the website, the book, the cookbook. Uh, and, and when we use faith to change our habits, in essence, God gave us this body, okay? God gave us uh, this body. He sacrificed his son for it, okay? So we have some responsibility for it. So I, I suggest uh, if you're uh, spiritual, even non-spiritual, uh, then use the spirit of the universe. Dedicate your body to the spirit of the universe or to Jesus or to God. And then you assume some responsibility for it. You can just eat anything you want to, or drink anything you want to, or smoke anything you want to. You have some responsibility for it, okay? Uh, so love, not guilt, or maybe getting some disease, should be your motivating factor. Love of God, love of yourself, love of your family should be the motivating uh, factor. Uh, Romans 12.1 says, give your bodies to God. Won't you start dealing it, dealing with it in a spiritual manner? The Spirit of God is within you, so respect it. You can't just throw anything you want to down uh, when the Spirit of God is living within your body. Uh, so remember the secret sauce is faith and friends, okay? Uh, so let God transfer you into a new person to change you. Many of us can't do it ourselves, including myself, including myself. So. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? Right out of the Bible. Well, you know, right in the book, okay? And uh, so my body belongs to God. Whatever your faith is, it doesn't have to be just Christianity, any faith. Uh, uh, but you have some responsibility for it. 
Uh, Jesus paid for my body when he died for me on the cross. And someday you go through the pearly gates, he's going to take, ask you what you do with it. So if you have strong faith, you can see why this might get you to change the way you think. Uh, and uh, so ex God expects me to take care of my body. I don't care what religion you are. You've got to give res respect to that. And, uh, uh, and God will re re resurrect your body uh, uh, when you die. So how do you create lasting change? Building your life on truth. So you've got to learn what the truth is. You can't just keep on eating what you want. You weigh 250 pounds and you've got type 2 diabetes. I mean, you've got to, uh, uh, what did this to me? I will admit that uh, many medical providers uh, is script to the pill. They're not giving you a lecture or talk or CDs or DVDs on what caused this many times. That's changing. I'm out here doing it. You can see these DVDs, YouTube shows, TV shows, lectures on a regular basis, websites, Zoom, where all that's on there. To, to help you. So uh, to, it, lasting change occurs when you start making some wise changes. If you're addicted to sugar, which some of us are, uh, that'll ch you can detox in a few weeks, two or three weeks, if you really watch your sugar. And the biggest cause of disease today is sugar, is not the fat. That theory has been b being thrown out in the literature right now. Uh, the McGovern Commission, the American Health Association, Ansel Keys, they all told us fat was the cause of vascular disease. 50 years they told us that they were wrong. It's sugar. Actually, it's a fructose in sugar, but it's the sugar that inflames our body. It's the sugar that causes vascular disease and, and dementia, increased rates of cancer. Yes, and I explained that further in a little bit here. Uh, so, uh, lasting change requires God's Spirit in your life. We're much more likely if we give this kind of respect to ourselves uh, to change. Uh, and uh, uh, and, and lasting change requires honest community. We need to have people talk to each other in an honest manner uh, and have friends and maybe a group of five or six like Rick Warren. You won't believe it. He got 7,000 groups. Yeah, yeah. I've been in churches giving uh, lectures on this during the church service, and they form groups. Yeah, many maybe not as large, but we're causing changes. So what type of food? Do, 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 does it recommend on the Daniel plane, which I have recommended for years, Dr. Furman, Dr. Esseltine, uh, we all recommend the, uh, Dean Ornish, all this, the same thing. Half your plate should be, uh, be non-starchy ve vegetables, okay? All you can eat. That is not a diet. This is a way of eating. One quarter starchy vegetables, okay? It could be potatoes or sweet potatoes, depending on whether you're diabetes or not. Uh, and the other quarter, some lean meats. But learn what are good lean meats, you know, ones that are organically raised, fish not raised in a pond but in the ocean. So uh, good meats, and three, four days a week, eat some meat, no problem. And uh, But it's going to be good meat. you get, you got to educate yourself and learn about this and look, look at my YouTube stuff, or, uh, and, and it will teach you. So uh, whether you eat or drink, uh, whatever you do, it, do it all for the glory of God. That's in 1 Corinthians, okay? So a uh, uh, focus, uh, not on the weight, but the type of medicine. Health equals uh, calorie. Uh, health equals uh, nutrients divided into calories. That's Dr. Uh, Furman. Health equals nutrients, uh, calories. The vitamins and minerals, and 20,000, 25,000 phytochemicals, the enzymes in the food you eat. Foods of color. You can add mushrooms that don't have color in. Uh, 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 and uh, onions, you know, color, full of phytochemicals, they're very healthy. So you want to be eating 80% uh, foods of color, vitamins and minerals are in them that keep you very uh, uh, healthy. Did I say don't eat meat? No. No. What, what did I say? Know what sugars you're eating. It's sugar that's your enemy. Uh, and it's a fructose in sugar, actually, uh, because uh, table sugar has 50% glucose, 50% fructose. What's the chemical formula of them? C6, H12O6. The same for glucose and fructose. Fructose is metabolized in the liver, causes fatty liver, causes very low density LDL, and that is what causes vascular disease. The cholesterol theory is kind of going down. It's your very low density LDL and the bad fats, the omega-6, which could be uh, uh, non-organic uh, raising of beef, for example, uh, fish pond fish, they're full of omega-6s that inflame your body too. 
But the main culprit is not fat, it's sugar. So uh, food is medicine. It's genetic information. We have our own genetic information. The food has genetic information, and our bodies are revolting to what you were eating because the food we're raising has been changed. They have uh, changed the genetic structure and through hybridization. The wheat we're eating today is totally different than the wheat of years ago. It used to be called einkorn, emma, now it's triticum. Totally changed, never studied in humans. Our bodies are revolting to it, so we're developing wheat bellies. There's a book out by Charles Davis called Wheat Belly, great to read, uh, that explain why wheat uh, can be uh, dangerous. And, uh, so, uh, uh, and then, then God said, I give you uh, the vegetables uh, uh, on, on the ground and, and the roots and the seeds, and I give you uh, the trees and the fruit on the trees, and that's in Genesis. He's telling what you, what you uh, should be uh, eating. We want to be eating a rainbow, a mo mosaic of color and interaction for good health. Uh, uh, like I said, eat three or four fruits, uh, fine, not ten pieces because it has fructose in it. And uh, contrary to what you uh, may believe, because fructose is metabolized in the liver, causes fatty liver. So you get a limited, but uh, three or four pieces, no problem because it's full of fiber. Fiber is your friend. You want to absorb all your food because you're eating fiber foods. Uh, and uh, so uh, sugar uh, uh, is, uh, is toxic, but fructose is poisonous. So you've got to learn the chemistry a little bit. Uh, don't drink your calories. Uh, sugar uh, uh, drinks cause 50% of obesity. They're full of fructose corn syrup. Remember, we talked about fructose. You don't want to be drinking that. It's a great cause of obesity. And, and, and now let's talk a little bit about uh, fitness. Be Daniel Strong. Get involved with fitness a little bit. And I'm not saying you got to run marathons. It'd be fine if you did. But I'm saying take a 30-minute walk every day, lift some light weights three or four days a week, you know, whatever you can a little bit to strengthen your muscles up at any age. Do some core exercises. Uh, you, can look, you can watch YouTube core exercises. Do them on the floor. I do them every day because this determines our balance. And it's very important at any uh, age. And, play, and do the sport. The sport you're most likely to do is the one you enjoy. So pick a sport that you enjoy, no matter what it is, okay? And remember, the best uh, exercise coach is your dog. Look how enthusiastic the dog is when he gets any hint at all that you're going to go take a walk. You're putting your sports shoes on, and the guy's jumping up and down. And uh, so uh, <laughs> let's get a little humor in here. But my dog loves to take a walk. He's leading the way. And, uh, and uh, so... Uh, dancing is a wonderful uh, sport to learn, and the music is so uh, relaxing. So become Daniel Strong. Uh, we all need to do some exercise at least five days a week at least. I do seven days a week because as a wellness uh, instructor, now I'm less busy than I was as a neurosurgeon, although I always played tennis day and night to begin with, but now I added uh, uh, fitness to it. A lot of places out there now, they're even cheap. I mean real cheap. In a, in a, so the excuses uh, are, are, are not there. So, and then focus, you know. We need, you need some sleep, you know. Uh, uh, if you can get eight hours, fine. But, but that, that's important. Turn the lights out, do some reading, turn on some music, whatever it takes. But you gotta cut down the noises, you gotta uh, cut down the lights. You gotta do the same routine every day. Same routine every day and try to eat not after seven o'clock because the food's, uh, uh, in your gut will uh, uh, help keep you awake. Uh, so, but we have different work schedules. For many of us, this is just impossible. Uh, but give it a try. A hot shower is relaxing. A hot tub is relaxing. Some music. And a good rule is, in my house, you can't discuss problems of the day after 9 p.m. I got that out of Norman Vincent Peale's book, Power of Positive Thinking. At the 9 p.m., I'm, I'm, like I'm like Israel. You know, I, I, I got a guard over my head. Uh, uh, and, and the problems at that point belong to God. They don't belong to me at that point, and, I, and, and that'll help you sleep. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, I think it's, it's a good thing because we can be so stressful with constantly thinking we can't sleep, no matter what the problem is. Believe me, I have had them too. I dealt with life and death for years, and believe me, I, 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 felt, I felt for the families, you know, and... Uh, and uh, and, and so very st stressful life, but I develop a method of exercise and laughter and music and dancing uh, that 
I take a dance lesson one hour every week now, and uh, it, 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 it's, rela it's relaxing. So, but you have to focus on making these changes. You've got to pay attention. And if you live in the spirit of God, that's very helpful. That's very helpful. Use prayer. I, I highly recommend uh, a prayer, no matter what your religion, even if you've got no religion. Uh, to be mindful, uh, uh, and visualization is a good one. Visualize what you like to do, what you like to become, what goal you have in mind. Your brain is much more likely to re respond to your vi visualization. Yeah, uh, that's a language of the unconscious mind. If you feel like, you know, I like to lose 30 pounds, you look in the mirror, or I'm unhealthy, I need to increase your muscles, look in the mirror, visualize what you like them to look like, uh, you know, six months from now, th uh, three months from now, uh, and, and it's much more likely to happen. That's a good one, yeah. That's the language of the unconscious mind. If you get cancer, visualize a Pac-Man coming in, eating up those cancers, and you urinating them out. That's Lachan's book, Cancer in the Mind. Uh, the, 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 this very important thing to do. You got to be a positive uh, a thinker, even if you have cancer in your life, even if it's spread all over the body. If you're watching what you eat, cancer is a sugar feeder. Uh, if you do some exercise the best you can, you, you uh, uh, eat high plant diet, <coughs> you're much more likely to get healthy. Learn, learn about smoothies and juicing, uh, getting these phytochemicals into your uh, 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 body. Many of us have sitting disease. What's that, doctor? <laughs> That's kind of interesting. A lot of people don't, don't know about it. Very few people know about it, but I found a book by Dr. Levine from Mayo Clinic on it, and it's fascinating. You know, when we take total calories burned the day, 60% is, is uh, depends on our size, for example, basic metabolic rate. That's 60% of your calorie burn per day, 10% of thermic effect of digestion. So you get 35% left. Only 3.5% of us exercise regularly. Yeah, you think it's 10%, but they really checked it, interviewed the people, it's 3.5%. So 35% of the calorie burn is related to activities of the day washing the dishes, whether we use the elevator or the stairs, whether we stand up when we're answering the phone at work, are we using on a treadmill while we're using this, are we uh, dancing a few minutes a day, are we taking the dog for a walk. Every way to increase uh, that is called non-NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenics. Your NEAT activity. You want to know your NEAT activity. If you can increase your NEAT activity, uh, say, uh, by 200 calories a day burn. That's 20 pounds in a year. Yeah, calculate out the day's 3,500 calories per pound. Uh, calculate out, you, you increase your need activity by, by uh, uh, 300 calories burned a day, that's 30 pounds. So if you change nothing else, I mean, that's very interesting. Uh, so there's a lecture on YouTube by me on it. Just, just go Cashman, K-E-C-H-M-A-N-N, -N, and go to sit, sitting these, a fascinating one hour lecture. Uh, I never spoke to anyone who really knows a lot about that because many of us don't have time to exercise and maybe we uh, can't afford to go to a place. Remember what I said, going to a group uh, or some organization uh, is helpful because you have friends there that help you or a group uh, is another way of doing it. Doing your basement by yourself, you may not be able to do it. Uh, you may not have the mindset to do it. So keep in mind uh, sitting disease and become, you know, uh, D uh, Daniel uh, Strong. Uh, and we spoke about uh, getting a good night's uh, s sleep uh, is important. Try not to eat just before you go to bed, uh, but it but uh, uh, can be uh, uh, difficult. A minister in Huntington, uh, Virginia, I think it was, found that the town was running a 46% obesity rate. Yeah, that's around 35 here, 46. Yeah, and it was eating the wrong food. Some people have the uh, g uh, genetic structure going uh, back in time where the ones who could get overweight uh, would survive. So they have this in their genes, although they may be skinny. If they're living in another country, they may be skinny. But when they come to, f to America, they're eating the, the bad, the fast foods, the toxic foods, fat, salt, and sugar, and their bodies explode. And this town was one of the worst in the whole nation. And the minister started working on it. Uh, a, a Reverend White, and, uh, and he wrote a book, actually. No, Wills, Steve Wills and Ken Walker, and they wrote a book. It's coming to me in the mail. I haven't read, I haven't read it yet. Uh, and he called it, I think, the uh, winning the food fight. He changed the whole downtown. 
to the Daniel plan. Very interesting. And uh, so uh, let's talk about friends for a minute. Uh, two or, when, when two or three people get together uh, and uh, they have faith, uh, Jesus will be present. It's right out of the Bible. It's right out of the Bible. It's something to keep in mind. Uh, uh, so, uh, so declaring the truth, admit to yourself, taking care of our bodies is an art, is an act of worship. Wow, I mean, those are great words. Taking care of our bodies is an act of worship. But what are we seeing in America today? One out of three is diabetic, type 2 diabetes, which is curable by following the plan I spoke about. Most patients don't know that. They have type 2 diabetes, and they're taking a bunch of pills. Is anybody leading them to a wellness program? Okay. And, uh, and, uh, and then again, many don't want, to, don't want to change. They'd rather take the pills and get the disease and, and lose their vision and get amputated and lose their kidney and go into Alice. That is 90% of the time is totally preventable. Many people don't know it. So I'm a little bit verbal about it because to me it's a grand opportunity. Okay, I've been teaching that for years. My cell phone is full of pictures. They, I asked that permission of patients I took pictures of showing their diabetes going away. I'd see them for a disc problem where they didn't look like they needed surgery, but they had diabetes, and I taught them anyway. See them once a month for free for six months, and the disease was gone. And I, it's commonly, you can hardly go to Starbucks. Somebody didn't come up to me, tell me that's what they did. And, uh, and it's, it's marvelous. Clearly, it makes my day. And uh, uh, many times I get a kiss on the cheek or a hug, and, uh, and you think, that doesn't make me feel good. For Pete's sake, it does. That's all the payment I ask. <laughs> to let me know how you did. And not everybody can do that. Some other day I t spoke to somebody and they s had gone to things I taught them and then they slipped, but they came back to, to, to learn it again because it's, it's not easy. That's the reason we have, you know, the Daniel plan. It, take, it can take a religion. And uh, uh, so the New England Journal of Medicine came out with us, an article showing a strong association uh, uh, in this, uh, with diabetes, with, being overweight and then leading to, you know, di diabetes and, and, and diabetes and vascular disease and strokes and dementia. A lot of dementia associated uh, with type 2 diabetes, which is stoppable and preventable, okay? Uh, uh, that is your friends. If your friends are overweight, you're probably going to stay overweight. As a matter of fact, you may gain a lot more weight, which I mentioned, it, like it's a 177% chance of you be gaining more weight if you have friends that are overweight. So try to get someone that's in, sh in, in, in shape and meet in these groups. And it's not just about weight. It's about wellness, about your social problems, about your financial problems. Uh, it, it's, life is uh, complex. But I think a great way, you know, to do this uh, is... In Dr. Dean Ordish years ago published a book, 25 years ago, uh, that, that, uh, about following a, a nutrient-dense, uh, uh, more of a vegetable-type diet. He, could, he proved with angiograms he could reverse heart disease, but he found the habits that people change, but didn't change for very long. So uh, he eventually uh, uh, added love and friendship to his books. Love and friendship to his books. Uh, as the way to cause real change. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it, it's right in his books today. So a key is friendships. So in summary, uh, what we uh, spoke about here uh, is faith, food, fitness, focus, and friendships. If you need for me to give a talk on this in your church, please let me know. It can be a synagogue. It, I don't care what it is. Uh, it's not any specific religion. I, I do it for free, about 30 minutes. I've done it many times before. Uh, I do it because it, it, it gets a lot of people well. It, it is frankly done, you know, uh, out of love for you, frankly, out of love for you. It's part, part of my spirit. My spirit is wellness. As I already mentioned, uh, the mayor called me at his conference on health, uh, Dr. Wellness, and I'm proud to say he was right. That was the second time he actually did it, once a year ago, and that he's perceptive of it. I think you have to give him credit and, uh, because he's trying to bring wellness to the whole city. And, uh, and I'm just trying to, trying to uh, uh, help. 
So watch our TV shows. Go on YouTube and watch my 77 TV shows on there. They'll tell you about, about uh, everything that you want to know about health. And excuse my passion, but I really do uh, care about you. Uh, come to one of my events. You want me to read a book? Get me a book. I'll read it. Meet you at Starbucks. Thanks very much. We love you. We love you all. Thank you very much.